Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you all about my recent beauty favorites. This isn't necessarily like a monthly favorites because I either A, forget to do them every month or I don't have enough new products that I've tried every single month. This is just mainly going to be items that I've been loving in the last couple of weeks and using up a ton. I just decided to gather all of these products up, so that's what I'm going to be talking to you guys about. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Product number one, I'll be starting with skincare. I only have two items, so it's not that much, but the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I don't know about you guys, but I personally am a huge sucker for good smelling products. Like, I love fruity smells. I know some people are very sensitive to them, so if you're sensitive, I definitely wouldn't recommend this product. But if you love smells and you love fruity smells, I think this Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer will be your favorite thing because it smells so amazing and it's just such a cooling sensation on the skin, especially right before you're about to go to bed. I just like love that cooling feeling on my face and I really do think it does a great job moisturizing while at the same time making my face smell good. So I definitely recommend trying out this moisturizer if you haven't already. Now the second and the last skincare item is, I don't know if this is the Olay Henriksen or Ol. Henriksen, but I'm just gonna say Olay. This is the Olay Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream, and this is pretty pricey, but when I say it's probably going to last you like a whole year, it definitely will because this is how much I have left. So like the whole entire container and I've been using it like one to two times a day every single day for the last probably like four weeks and you guys can see I haven't even made a dent on that so I think this will probably last me like a whole entire year but I really have been enjoying this product because I've always been super self-conscious of my skin without makeup just because my under eye bags are really really dark and they're really bad and I've just always hated them and I feel like nothing besides a really thick concealer can get rid of them so I have never liked my bare skin without makeup simply for that reason and now that my skin has gotten a lot better and then now that I have this I have really been enjoying just wearing no makeup a lot more than when I did it in the past. I've definitely noticed a huge difference since I've been using this product. I didn't want to recommend it like a week in because I know sometimes you can't really tell and I'd say probably around the fourth week of using this it definitely did help my eyes and I think my under eyes the puffiness has gone away not completely but it's definitely helped decrease my puffiness and it's definitely helped the darkness a lot if you guys have been eyeing this product um <laughs> lol eye cream eyeing this product but if you guys have been looking at this product and determining whether it's worth a splurge or not i definitely recommend it especially if you guys have really bad bags or puffiness underneath your eyes this will change your life. So that is all for skincare, but now I have two primers to share with you guys. And the first one is actually a drugstore, and this is a Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. This is hydrating and pore minimizing. And when this product says pore minimizing, I mean it means pore minimizing. Like pore disappearing, no pores, where are the pores, what are pores? Like this makes my skin look absolutely flawless. It's what I'm wearing underneath my foundation today. And I was so impressed. I was like looking at it the other day when I had it on. I didn't realize what I put on my face before I put on my drugstore foundation. So I was like, what is underneath this $5 foundation? I was like driving in the car and I just like looked so I could like pick something off my face and I'm like, is that me? You know how that, that mirror in your car just makes you notice every flaw and everything? I mean, I looked at myself and I'm like, I don't even have pores, pores wear because this made my pores look so good. My skin looks smooth and flawless. And like, this is worth it. This is so worth it. It's drugstore, it's probably like $10. I definitely recommend you guys like trying it out and genuinely looking at your face in a car mirror because that's where all the flaws come out and that's where you can see how perfect this is. I definitely recommend it. You guys are going to hate me because I went from like a $10 primer to like a $50 primer and they basically do the same thing, but this is worth the hype. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I actually genuinely really enjoy this, but I only use it for special occasions. Cause like I said, it's like $50, so that's a lot. And you guys are probably like, why are you even talking about that when you just discussed the best $10 primer ever? And I know, I know that makes no sense. But if you guys are looking for a primer to splurge on and you're more of a high-end person and you want something that's going to look like you have a veil over your face and it's going to make your pores completely disappear and just make your foundation last all day, like this is the primer for you. This is so beautiful. And like I said, I only use this if I'm going up to like a nice dinner, a special event, which I don't ever go to. But if I do, this is what I go to. Like 
any weddings, anything like that, like this is what I wear and it just makes my skin look absolutely amazing. Every time I wear it, people are like, whoa, your skin looks really good. I'm like, thanks, better be good for $50. But yeah, it's definitely worth the hype. If you guys are thinking about trying it out, definitely recommend. Just a little warning, this primer is really white. Like I'm gonna see if I can show you guys on the back of my hand. Like once you blend it in, I don't know. Yeah, you guys can probably see like how white that makes your skin look and you guys might be a little like freaked out by that on your skin but i promise once you put foundation over it it's totally fine it's just really scary when you're like first applying it without foundation but once you put foundation on you can't even tell you just like it oh my god even just putting it on the back of my hand like this hand looks so much better than this hand just try it you guys it's really really good so i've never really been a nars person and it's not that i hate nars or that i don't like nars i just haven't really tried that many things from them and this past summer i tried a really good foundation from them and i loved it i fell in love with it i used it every single day i'm almost like done with the bottle and that's hard to run out of a foundation at least in my opinion it's really hard to run a foundation so that means a lot to me so i decided to try their pure radiant tinted moisturizer after i saw it on one of my clients faces shout out to you morgan but i absolutely love this this is such a good tinted moisturizer i've never been like a light coverage type of person but this in the summertime is so pretty and if you guys just like light coverage in general this is definitely going to be the tinted moisturizer for you it has enough coverage to where you're probably like oh yeah it's like a light foundation um but it's not super full coverage where it's super cakey it definitely looks more like skin but it evens out all the uneven skin tones any dark spots any redness anything like that and then once you put concealer over the spots where you really need it like underneath the eyes or pimples or anything this will definitely just like help it all just kind of blend together without putting on that heavy cakey foundation but I have been loving this especially in the summertime if you guys want this to be even lighter coverage I definitely recommend going in with like some dew drops or some type of like shimmery drops and kind of like mixing it together but it's definitely a really really beautiful tinted moisturizer if you guys have been in the market for one NARS has been like killing it honestly in my collection I only have the orgasm blush of course and then i have that foundation and then this one but every single thing that i bought from nars i've loved i feel like it's just really good quality thing so if you guys have any other like ride or die products from nars definitely drop them in the comment section because i'm interested in trying more of nars stuff so yeah let me know so i have two single shadows and they're both like shimmery pots and the first one i'm sure you guys have seen everybody rave about this is the tarte chrome paint shadow pot and this is in the shade at top yacht of course i'm not really into like the crazy colors but this color is so pretty i will say it only really works with your finger but i had a bride this past weekend she was like i just need like something a little bit more like i don't want glitter but i don't want like this like shimmer so i gave her this to like swatch on the back of her hand and she's like oh my god whatever that is i need to go get it but i'll show you guys what i do is usually just take it on my hand just like that and then like right underneath not right underneath right on top of my eyelid like to any eye look that you do if you just want to like dab this right there like in the middle or on the inner corner it just looks really good so you're just going to literally take it and it's such a gorgeous shimmer shade and it just gives that like extra pop so i'll go in with like a all over brown on my lid and then just pop that right in the middle and it's so pretty all of my clients always ask me what i'm wearing and I just love this. Whenever I'm investing in really expensive products for really small items, I'm kind of like, is that worth it? Is it not worth it? But I personally think it is just because I know it's definitely going to last me a super long time. Um, and then the other single pot shadow I have is from Hourglass and it's their Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow Reflect. Wait, is this in the color Reflect? Okay, I think this is in the shade Reflect. The only thing I don't like about this product is that if you guys can tell the difference of the tart one and this one you guys can see just how much easier it is to get into the tart eyeshadow than it is to get in this one because it's like this one's like pretty in there and i have nails so this nail like conveniently broke off so i can go in with this one so i'm just going to show you guys but i i just wish Ugh, I love the color of this. It's such a beautiful shade. If you guys don't have nails, this will be perfect. It's like the same thing as the Tarte one, but I love the shade of this and I wish I could show you guys, but every single time that I go in there, 
it like digs into my nail like you guys can see it's literally underneath my nail right there and I'm so annoyed but look at how gorgeous that shade is it's like a champagne-y kind of like Oh, it's just a really gorgeous color and I love it, but I can't get into it and I'm really pissed off about it That's the only thing I don't like I couldn't get that much on the back of my hand But you guys can see the difference between those two colors, but I love it This looks a little bit more warm for some reason, but in my personal opinion I think it's more cool tone than it is warm toned. It just looks warm toned But yeah, if you guys don't have nails, that's like the perfect thing for you guys But right now that I have nails, I can't really use it so on to brows the number one brow product that I have been using recently like crazy I don't really fill in my brows all that often like this right here I only have the essence make me brow and this is the product I'm talking about this is a zero three soft brownie brown shade and I love this for my eyebrows because naturally I have very like full and hairy eyebrows I guess you could say um so I don't really need like a lot of filling in because I feel like when I fill them in it's really too dark with like this blonde of color so I like to go in with this and just kind of brush it that's literally all that I have it kind of like makes them look a little bit fuller and a little bit more filled in but not so much like super super sharp arch or anything like that like I just really like how soft it makes it look and how nice so I definitely recommend this I think it's like three dollars from the drugstore or something like that but if you guys have been looking for a good like brow pomade this is what the brush looks like right here and if you guys have like dirty blonde ashy hair I definitely recommend the shade 03 all right the blush that I have been loving it's on my skin right now I've been talking about it a ton on my channel but I had to bring it up because obviously I've been talking about it this is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted scented blush and this is in the shade 191 fantastical this is what it looks like right there but i have been using this every single day since i bought it i've been kind of making it a point to like if i buy something and i like it to just keep using it and using it and using it because i hate buying so many new things using it once putting it in my drawer even though i like it so i've kept this on like my everyday drawer and like just shoved it right in there and I'm like don't use any other blush except for this one so yeah I have been absolutely loving this this is only just probably like eight or nine dollars from the drugstore so I definitely recommend it if you guys haven't tried any of these blushes they're super pigmented and they definitely last all day long and then the eyeshadow palette that I have been loving as well I've created I think two looks on my channel with this but I can create more if you guys want me to this is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette I discussed how much I loved it in my last eyeshadow um tutorial with this but this this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like right here and i told you guys in that tutorial that i thought this was a really good time to buy it because it has really good fall shades in there but then at the same time during the summer i think it's really good for the summer as well because it has your good like warm tone and then cool tone and i don't see a lot of eyeshadow palettes that have good warm tone and cool tone shades like this one has the blues and the greens and then you have like the purples and the oranges over there and then the best part about it is like how big the mirror is you guys can see my grapes um but yeah how big the mirror is right there like it's so good and it's such a big mirror so i love that and the whole like packaging it's just very sturdy and very sleek i really really like it so if you guys have been eyeing this it's definitely worth a splurge as well all of these eyeshadows are super super creamy and i just love like like these two purple shades you don't really see them very often and then these like blue and green shades right here especially that one you don't see very often they're just gorgeous and super pigmented and i think you can create a ton of different looks so i wanted to recommend that for you guys that have been looking at it or just want like a new palette for the fall time i definitely love this one and the last item i'm going to be talking to you all about i've discussed this item before but it's what's on my lips today and i love this, this is the jeffree star velour liquid lipstick i love this shade specifically it's called i'm nude and if you guys have a very pale skin or kind of like medium to light skin like i do i think it's a gorgeous gorgeous shade it's definitely very nude like obviously i have it on my lips right now i have a little bit of a gloss over it but this is what the shade looks like right here. So it's a very, very pale pink nude, but I'm that person that really loves a pale pink nude, especially when I'm wearing like big sweaters like this. And it's just like, 
like just the perfect nude shade. I've been looking for that perfect nude for a long time and this is definitely my perfect nude. Right now I'm just pairing it with the Tardis Glossy Lip Paint in the shade Hella. Um, you guys have heard me talk about this one and rave about this one as well. So this duo is really, really good, but specifically I've just been loving this. And then if I have any like darker lipstick that I want to kind of add a little bit of like brightness to the middle. I add this one right in there, but yeah, that's definitely been my favorite lip of like the month, I guess you could say, or just like the last couple weeks. Cause I think I talked about it in my last favorites video. I'm not sure I've had it for a while, but I use it nonstop. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm almost done with it, but yeah, I have been loving it. I don't know of any other products from Jeffree Star. Like I don't have that many makeup products from him. I just have three, two, three, four. I think I have three lippies from him, but that's about it. But yeah, I really, really, really love this nude. That is all that I have for you all today. I hope you guys enjoyed my recommendations and my most used makeup products for the last couple of weeks. Let me know what else you guys want to see in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.